Welcome to the 4D Nucleome Network. We are the 4D Nucleome Network Organizational Hub, also known as the 4D NOH. For better communications in the consortium, we provided many online tools and services to the 4D Nucleome Network. This tutorial will help you to get familiar with them. Here are the 10 tools and services we will introduce in this tutorial. Based on their accessibility, we can categorize them into two types internal accessible and publicly accessible. The internal accessible tools and services are directory, wiki, email groups, calendar, newsletter, and Slack. Only the 4DN network member can use them. The publicly accessible tools and services are web portal, social media accounts, YouTube channel, and bio archive channel. Among these tools and services, the 4DN web portal is the central access point of all the other tools and services. So let's introduce the 4DN web portal first. The web address of 4DN web portal is 4dnucleome.org, which is very easy to remember. In the 4DN web portal, the top navigation bar can direct you to important resources such as 4DN network generated tools, policies, protocols, cell lines, outreach activities, and so on. There are several panels showing up-to-date community-wide information, such as the latest announcements, publications, and tweets. The right side panels show access points to other 4DN tools and services. The 4DN data portal is the central data platform created and maintained by 4D Nucleome Network Data Coordination and Integration Center, also known as 4DN DCIC. You should follow their instructions to register and submit your 4DN related research data. The second button can lead you to a novel, multimodal data visualization tool, the Nucleome Browser, which is developed and maintained by Dr. G.N. Moslab at Carnegie Mellon University. The other two buttons below can direct you to the 4DN Wiki and 4DN Directory. At the right bottom, you can find the access points to the 4DN accounts on YouTube, Twitter, and other social media platforms. The web portal should always be your first stop to learn the latest information about the 4D Nucleome program. Besides the public information on the 4DN web portal, as a 4DN member, you definitely want to get more internal information. The first thing you need to do, is setting up your account in the directory system. The directory system is also named as people.4dnucleome. It provides a one-stop directory for all 4DN members to manage their and their team members' profiles, participate in the internal working groups, and more. It's very important to set up your account in the 4DN directory. Let's show how to do it. First of all, every 4DN funded PI will get an email from the directory system. In the email, you can click the invitation link to set up your account. For security, the link will expire in 6 hours. So please set up your account immediately when you get the email. Click the link and you are directed to the 4DN login setup page. You must input a valid username and password. Then click the update button at the bottom. Now you have a valid account for 4DN directory. If you don't want to remember the username and password, you can use a third party account to log in such as Google, GitHub, and Facebook. To link a third-party account, you can go to the My Profile page by clicking the button in the left side panel. Then click the button of Link a new account. For example, we use a Google account, click it, and authorize your Google account. Then it's linked and now you can sign in with the Google account. In the My Profile page, you can see that your lab role is 4DN Grantee PI with an associated project ID. As API, you are responsible for adding and managing your team members in the directory system. You need to click the button in the left side panel, go to the Manage My Team page. Click the Add a New User button. Then input the information of your team member in the form. Please ensure the email address is correct because the invitation link will be sent to that address. There are many defined lab roles you can choose for your team member. These lab roles have different authority levels. Briefly speaking, PI always has the highest authority level. If you want some people in your lab to help you manage your team in the directory system, you can assign them the administrator or other roles at the same level. 
Here we assign the new member the administrator role. Then we can add associated lab and grant information for him. You can see that only the labs in the same project you have can be selected. Then click the button of add lab and grant information. Finally, click the blue button of add new user. The new added member will get an invitation email to set up the 4DN directory account. The account setting up process is the same as we showed before. Now, go to the My Profile page, we can see an item of 4DN roles. If you chose a 4DN role of a specific working group, such as the joint 4D Nucleome Analysis Working Group member, you will be added to the associated email group of that working group. The 4DN email groups are very important for our communications. So let's introduce the 4DN email groups. We have created many 4DN email groups built on the Google Groups platform. When you successfully set up your 4DN directory account, you have already been added to the whole 4DN network email group. The funded PI email groups don't allow other members to join. We have created email group for 4DN working group in phase 1. We will add email groups for new working groups in phase 2. As we showed, you can join these email groups in 4DN directory system by selecting your 4DN roles. When you joined an email group, you can receive and send emails to the email group's address. If you want to send an email to an email group that you are not in, it will be moderated by the system for security reasons. It might be delayed for a while. Since there are many 4DN email groups, you might want to ask where to find the information about these email groups. Now it's time to introduce the 4DN wiki. The 4DN wiki is a central organized resource for all teams, centers, and working groups to document internal information and working progress. First of all, you can find its access point on the 4DN web portal homepage. Click the button and you are directed to the start page of 4DN wiki. Click the login button at the top right corner. Then you can log into the wiki with your 4DN directory account. Here we use the test member account we just created to log in. The left side is the navigation panel. You can use it to locate the page you are interested in. For example, we can go into the page of 4DN email groups. On this page, you can find the information about the email groups. You can use the table of contents to locate the page section you want to read. There are several function buttons on the right side. Click the first pencil button, you can edit the page if you have permission. It's not hard to hands on. If you want to learn more about editing wiki pages, you can go to the 4DN wiki quick start page. Then find the link to a Google document named as Wiki Basic Editing Instructions. In the navigation panel, you can see a 4DN calendar page. It's another useful tool you need to know. The 4DN calendar shows all the scheduled meetings and events. In phase 2, each working group will have its own calendar channel. You can select which one to view in the calendars panel on the left side. Currently there are only two phase 1 working groups. We will add more based on the phase 2 working group settings. When you click the scheduled meeting in the calendar, you can see the detailed information of the meeting, including the meeting access link. Only organizational hub can edit the calendar. PIs such as working groups chairs, can request permission of editing. To let every member know the progress of the community, we create and send a monthly newsletter email to the whole 4DN network email group. In the newsletter, we collect and compose news and announcements from the steering committee meeting, progress summary of each working group, the latest publications and preprints, and other important resources. With the newsletter, you can get the most important updated information every month. To promote faster and more effective communications, we created a 4DN Slack workspace and started to use it at the end of phase 1. Its web address is 4dn.slack.com. Currently, there are only a few discussion channels in Phase 1. We hope we can see more activities in the Slack workspace in 4DN Phase 2. We will send an invitation link to all the members. Till now, we have introduced all of our internal communication tools and services. Besides working inside the community, we also want more people to know the amazing progress and novel discoveries of the 4D Nucleome network.
so we provide some public accessible tools and services. Of course, the 4DN web portal is a good resource center for the public to learn about 4DN. Also, we use social media platforms to share our latest information with the public. We have accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. You can access them from the web portal. Currently, the 4DN Twitter account is the most active one. We have more than 3,000 followers. If you want to share your news on Twitter, just notify us and we are glad to retweet it. Besides social media accounts, we have a 4DN YouTube channel. With the presenter's permission, we produce videos based on the recordings of 4DN scientific webinars, annual meetings, and other education and outreach events. If you have any good 4DN related video want to share, we are glad to add it to our 4DN YouTube channel. The last thing I want to introduce is the 4DN Bio Archive channel. To help the whole scientific community to know the latest research findings, 4DN funded research are required to submit preprints to Bio Archive before publication. The Publication Policy Working Group created a 4DN Bio Archive channel. After you submitted a preprint to BioArchive, you need to send email to the 4DN Organizational Hub to add your preprint to the 4DN BioArchive channel. You can also access it from the 4DN web portal. Click the Publications button in the top navigation bar, and then choose the 4DN preprints. Now we have finished the tutorial. We are very glad that we can work together in the 4D Nucleome network. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.